We're standing in front of uh, Cirrus Design's mock-up of the Cirrus Vision aircraft, the jet that they're designing. It is a uh, single-engine uh, uh, personal jet aircraft, and we're here with uh, Mike Van Stoggen, who's the head of uh, advanced uh, program development for uh, Cirrus, and uh, Mike is going to tell us a little bit about the design features of this uh, new product that uh, we're looking at for uh, mid-2011 entry into service. Hi, good morning. Yep, we're standing here in front of the mock-up of Cirrus Vision. Uh, we do have one flying, it's uh, in flight test right now. Uh, we, we are of uh, many changes that are happening between this uh, airplane that we're looking at here today and the actual final Cirrus Vision, but they'll be very subtle. I'll walk you through a couple of them. One is we're working on the angle of the engine exhaust. The engine exhaust has a big effect on how much pitch change you'll have with every time you change the throttle. So we're going to be changing the vectored angle from about 6.5 degrees now to 10 and 12 to see roughly where that should end up in production. We're real excited about that and how well it's working. It's been very good so far. Uh, the tail is another area that's going to be changing a little bit. Um, again, to the to the untrained eye, it might be pretty uh, small mass, but we're going to stand the tail up a little bit from a sweep standpoint. It'll have the same dihedral and it will have the same area and moment arm, but we uh, we're taking a little bit of the aesthetic sweep out of the tail. And why we're doing that, you might ask, is to reduce the structural weight of the tail, the structural weight of the fuselage, and improve the geometry of the of the control system connected to the rudder bay. So a small change, but a big change for the uh, for the airplane. It'll reduce a lot of weight, and specifically, it'll reduce a lot of weight in the tail. So we're excited about that. Some other changes that are happening on the airplane are we are lowering the wing about four inches down from where it's shown on the mock-up here. And uh, a, a subtle change, but one that will offer a larger area between the floor of the airplane and the seats, in which we have to design a very energy efficient seat for the CAPS touchdown condition, which is the Sears airframe parachute system. We're also going to be looking at uh, flap deflection angles, the size of the flaps, things like that as we approach uh, stall testing here in the next few weeks. One change that we made over the last year was taking the uh, winglets off of the airplane. We were flying without them right now. Um, a very early study was done that indicated that they would not necessarily help the performance of the airplane. But we will be revisiting that and determining that for production configuration here in the next coming months. Another change that's happening on the airplane is that uh, we started out the idea of having uh, two doors on the Vision and uh, we're basically putting 50,000 people through it at various trade shows. We've uh, determined that one door would be good enough. And in fact, uh, one door on this airplane is better than most other airplanes that even have two doors. The interior is so spacious that it offers you to move around in the cockpit while you're in the flight, getting in and out, whether you have people loaded first um, or last, whether you load the pilot in first or last. All works really well. So one of the things that uh, will reduce a lot of weight and likely some customer nuisances over time will be the uh, moving of two doors to work. And there will be, you'll just be able to kick out the window on the on the uh, right side of the aircraft if you need yep, to get out. We'll, yep, we'll still have the emergency egress opening on this side. Okay, terrific. Well, Mike, thanks so much for taking us through this. And I uh, look forward to seeing uh, the first production uh, vision flying uh, by middle of uh, 2010. So, terrific. Thanks so much.